This is Dr. Eric Fromm, one of the most influential psychoanalysts in the world. A man whose work has been hailed as a significant step forward from the theories of Sigmund Freud. The philosopher Eric Fromm, he forecast a uh, society that was obsessed with possession. A world-renowned psychologist, Dr. Eric Fromm. Thank you. Welcome to the Eric Fromm channel, a channel dedicated to the work of the 20th century philosopher Eric Fromm. Fromm's work was a combination of philosophy, psychology and sociology. By developing Fromm's ideas into video essays, our aim is to bring more attention to his impressive and ever important body of work. We see Fromm as one of the most significant voices to emerge from the 20th century, yet unfortunately he is relatively unknown in the modern zeitgeist, misrepresented if not entirely omitted. Compared to the fame of Carl Jung or Sigmund Freud, Fromm is little known outside of academic circles, despite being a best-selling author published in many different languages. Speculations about why this may be remain to be explored in other videos. Born in Frankfurt on the 23rd of March 1900, Eric Fromm was raised in an Orthodox Jewish family, the only child of Natalie and Rosa Fromm. Fromm's grandfather and two great-grandfathers were rabbis and his great-uncle was also a Talmudic scholar. Although Fromm stopped practicing Judaism in his mid-twenties, this heritage remained profoundly influential in the development of his philosophy. Fromm began his studies at the University of Frankfurt, later completing his PhD in sociology at the University of Heidelberg. He then went on to train and begin practicing as a psychoanalyst. Following the rise of Hitler, Fromm left Germany in the early 1930s, briefly residing in Switzerland before settling in New York. Although Fromm, his mother and some other members of his family escaped, Many of his remaining family, friends and contemporaries were murdered in the Nazi Holocaust. His cousin Heinz Brandt miraculously survived Auschwitz and the death march to Buchenwald and they remained lifelong friends. In the face of such darkness, Fromm was a highly prolific individual, authoring more than 35 books. In 1941 he published the significant Escape from Freedom, partly in response to the rise of Nazism and Fascism at the time. He is perhaps best known for the best-selling The Art of Loving, published in 1956, or To Have or To Be, which, released in 1976, was one of his last books. In addition to writing, Fromm lectured at a number of universities including Yale, Columbia, New York University and the University of Mexico City. He was involved in anti-nuclear, anti-war and human rights activism, opposing the Vietnam War and being a founding member of Amnesty International in the 1960s. Among those whom Fromm influenced were Martin Luther King and JFK. Fromm is often associated with the Frankfurt School of Critical Theory and the figures of Adorno and Horkheimer. However, Fromm broke away from the group relatively early in his career due to both personality and ideological clashes. There were, amongst other things, disagreements about the theories of Freud. Significant people Fromm encountered in his lifetime include Alfred Weber, who was Fromm's supervisor at the University of Heidelberg and brother of Max Weber, the rabbis Salman B. Rabinkow and Nehemiah Noble, D.T. Suzuki with whom he co-authored the book Zen Buddhism and Psychoanalysis, and his psychoanalyst Frieda Reichmann, who he married as a young man. His second marriage was to Jewish refugee Henny Gerland, who made part of her escape through Europe with the philosopher Walter Benjamin. Tragically, she committed suicide in 1952. From then married Annis Freeman, who he spent the rest of his life married to. He was also romantically involved and good friends with the psychoanalyst Karen Horney, as well as the dancer and anthropologist Catherine Dunham. Fromm is known for his emphasis on love, his humanistic approach and for his understanding of social character. Yet Fromm's scope was broad, it included analyses of the Old Testament, the interpretation of dreams, Zen Buddhism and the anatomy of human destructiveness. He dealt with many threads of psychology including the authoritarian character, the bureaucrat, narcissism, sadism, alienation and biophilia. Fromm was most notably impacted by the works of both Meister Eckhart and Karl Marx. As an early 20th century psychoanalyst, he was inevitably influenced by Jung as well as Freud. However, Fromm challenged and reframed many of Freud's ideas, such as the infamous Oedipus complex. To say that Fromm was incredibly well read would be an understatement. He was not only an innovative intellectual but a studious scholar. 
Although German was his native tongue, Fromm wrote the majority of his books in English, and after moving to Mexico, also learned to speak Spanish. His work is remarkably insightful and thought-provoking, yet direct and full of common sense. It is systematic yet humorous, gentle yet radical. It is not just the breadth of Fromm's knowledge and his ability to communicate it that is significant. His penetrating ability to reason and analyse, combined with his deep compassion, produced an uncompromising vision for human understanding and betterment. As Hans-Jürgen Schultz said, Fromm's talent for letting the heart speak along with the mind is a quality that used to go under the name of wisdom. After living in Mexico for a number of years, Fromm eventually retired in Switzerland. He died in Locarno, Switzerland on March of 1980, just days before his 80th birthday, leaving behind an extraordinary legacy. As well as what we consider to be some of the finest and most accessible writing on philosophy and psychology, there are also many lectures and interviews with Fromm available to listen to and watch online. This channel aims to pay homage to the outstanding work of Fromm, arguably the most accomplished philosopher of modern times. Please subscribe to learn more about the life and work of this incredible individual, and thank you for watching.